hello everybody welcome to game number two of the little naff weekender thing that we did um it's my wood elves um with a loss versus cosmodons underworld with a loss he's got not going to get too much value from his claw linos here as there is only one player with armor um <laughs> more than armor seven but the uh the troll is going to be a terror versus the tree isn't he unfortunately uh, meanwhile, every other game is now underway, but uh, you know it's still very early. Nothing exciting happening yet. Yeah, I I, I, did, I made a, myself a sandwich before this game, so I, I was yeah one of the later later starters. What? Never mind. There's a uh, dead Amazon line woman. Mm -hmm. uh, Vulpe Sincalta has just killed one of Abram's players. <laughs> yeah, forty-five miles apart is quite far away. In England, but uh, yeah, I guess that's next door in, in America. <laughs> yeah, it's the same state, and we live in a pretty small state, relatively. Yeah. Uh, I don't need to do that, do I? I'm going to put that claw to work. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Right. <laughs> right, I'm going to eat this sandwich now. That's true. Skrull lives in a much nicer neighborhood than I do. So you're both from Boston, are you? Eh, roughly. Boston. No, yeah, Mass. Massachusetts, is it? It is Massachusetts. There you go. Boston, Mass. <laughs> yeah, Boston is on the far eastern side of the state and it takes about two hours to drive all the way across the long way and I'm right in the middle I'm from Boston in that I tell people from other countries I'm from Boston because it really is close enough and it's not like they've heard of any other cities They've all heard of Massachusetts, though, thanks to the Bee Gees, haven't they? Well, that may be one reason. It's the same reason we say that Jim's from Newcastle. The copy stuff is on its way. It's been dispatched. It's crazy. Same day delivery. What a world we live in. So a death row. Oh. <laughs> All right, Nightwind and Oriolensis, Naf Dark Elves, and Power Apo. Power Apo has not had to use their Power Apo yet, but it's only the first turn. And Dark Elves are on offense, and uh, they've got the ball pretty safe, so I'll check back in on them in a few turns. I don't expect anything too exciting to happen right away. Glorious. There's a guard goblin, I've just realized. That's wild, isn't it? Yeah, that's the double on the Underworld. There's a guard goblin. Absolutely nothing, Dr. Mahomabosco. Just pride. <laughs> We're just playing for fun. Uh, I'm especially having fun because I'm not playing. Turn two in uh, Gdanik versus Egyptian, and it looks like Gdanik has just turned the ball over. Well, it's on the ground anyway, and the skink that was carrying it is now KO'd. Uh, 
you know, Volpe's and Kelta is the ball pretty safe, but uh, the Amazons are playing, uh, uh, Lean Gary is playing a pretty high pressure defense. He's based up a bunch of places. And it looks like he may not get away with it. Nope, he's just had another player removed. So. Uh, so Lean Gary is down to 9, and uh, Volpe's is at 10. I'm going to be a right mad cunt this game and go straight for the ball. Yeah, Gdanik, uh joined up at the last minute to give us an, some more people. Uh, his other option was um, that or go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's probably around uh, midnight or so. I'm not sure exactly. All right, thanks for dropping in, Kfod. Yeah, cheers. See you. Look at that! What a mad, what a mad bastard I was there. All right, we haven't checked in on Von Hilda yet. <laughs> I'm stuck so, under the bench. <laughs> I hope I hope J Five is not stuck under the bench. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have freed him up. But, you know. No, it's snowing in this game. Uh, Squirrel dude is on offense. He's got the ball reasonably safe. A couple squares into enemy territory. Uh, and it doesn't look like uh, any damage done on either side yet. Uh, he's just finished his third turn. Thanks, Nicola. Yeah, it was a bit risky, wasn't it? Obviously, having, having to get forward there, but uh, and maybe I shouldn't have made that block on the claw. Maybe I should have just left him in contact. Left two players to come like After two turns of defense, Danik now has the ball on a throw raw. So something's gone really well for him. It looks like uh, Egyptian tried a bit of a uh, potato and it didn't work out. Oh dear, dream, Thanks. dream tournament for uh, Gdanik so far, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he's also uh, just tried a one die block against the Tomb Guardian and rolled a skull into another skull. Oof. So, yeah, everything's coming up Gdanik. If he's able to stay awake till the end, he's uh, in uh, pole position. Still not much happening in Nightwind versus Oriolensis. Uh, Nightwind's got the ball. He's got two players back. One of them's carrying it, and everybody else is just kind of having a scrap uh, around midfield. But they're elves, so it's the sort of scrap where nobody really you know, accomplishes anything. <laughs> Very good. A lot of wood elves on the ground, though, so this may be a good time to try and get forward, but I think he's... No, it's too late. He's already moved both of his... Uh, ball players. God, I've just had an amazing sandwich, so I'm pretty happy right now. Well. <laughs> this is going very well for me. <laughs> having, <laughs> having, having a lovely sandwich. Uh, it's good to have uh, high ambitions in life. <laughs> yeah, man. Fucking nice sandwiches are right up there. Absolutely. Once we get through with this, I'm going to go take a walk down to the grocery and probably pick up some stuff for a nice sandwich. Very good. Right, let's do safe moves first here. That's a good idea, isn't it? 
I don't know what to do because I, I, don't, I want to blitz, but that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a lot of squares. Ah, I guess I've got to do it, haven't I? Didn't roll a double one. Good. Oh, I did a dodge for no reason. <laughs> oh, classic elves. Totally didn't cut the corner for no reason. Go me. Could almost uh, stall here a little bit. Well, okay, so Lean Gary's Amazons have removed one of Volpe's in cult as humans, but it's a blitzer with guard. So they now have a 2 to 1 guard advantage, and he's really just manning up everybody. Hasn't been able to quite get to the ball yet. But he's trying. That's a skull. So that, that immediately puts them on, on the back foot, doesn't it? Because now they're like, oh shit, we're, we're losing versus Woodies. We've got to play a bit riskier. And when you play a bit riskier against Woodies... You lose by more. <laughs> yeah, you certainly can do. Well, this is how an Aryan gets all his 6 0 wins. Absolutely. Just like this. Absolutely. Yeah, high pressure defense, uh, quick turnover, score, rinse and repeat. Yep. It's how Sage beat me 3 0 with Wood Elves one time. Uh, I was on You're not supposed to admit that. Yeah, no, it's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind admitting anything. He's a good coach, isn't he, Sage? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he is. And uh, he beat me 3 0. He. he I had wood undead, he had wood elves, and he outbashed me. <laughs> but, um. Well, so it really doesn't matter what you do at that point. Yeah, but, you know, it's because I was chasing for the result, is why I lost 3 0. So. I've, maybe I could have, uh, maybe I could have lost 1 0 if I'd, if I'd tried to lose 1 0. <laughs> you know, if I'd been satisfied with losing 1 0, maybe I could have lost 1 0. But... Yeah, but who wants to be satisfied with that? No, exactly, yeah. Or if I could have been satisfied with losing 2-0, I probably could have lost 2-0, but... Um, <laughs> or if I'd been satisfied with losing 2-1, maybe I could have lost 2-1. But, um, you know, you got to go for it, haven't you, at the end of the day? If you're 2-0 behind, you want to at least try and make it 2-2. Two -two. That squirrel dude has lost the ball on turn 5, and J5 has a reasonable chance to pick it up. Hmm. That's a huge mess of things. It could be a chain push, and the likes of which you only see on the uh, movement six one turn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's unlikely in it. The movement six one turn. Hello, soul for the anarchist. Yeah, Jimmy Ball. <laughs> and BZL commentary. Hello which there. Is the best. The big gobo. Does follow up. Interesting. Exposing the troll to a uh, to a tree fucking. <laughs> I can't think of a <laughs> of a better terminology than that. Uh, I can't think of a worse one. <laughs> he stand firm though we stand firm yeah. we're gonna hit that bastard back all right j5 has stolen the ball and he's gotten it uh where it's gonna be very difficult for squirrel dude to reach mm -hmm. he's got more than enough time to just run up the field and score on defense uh so things are going well for him we'll look back in a few turns and see if it went wrong or if he's actually winning or not I have had people call me BZL before, <laughs> which always sounds a little weird, but really I don't care what you call me. Yeah, Z, Z, I think BZL works fine, um, mm. even though it's like pretty American, isn't it, to say BZL? I didn't really think of it as being American, I just thought of it as your name. <laughs> yeah. Well, they say Z in Canada too, or at least in parts of it. Mm. Well, 
let's do the tap the blitz first. This fucking guarder. <laughs> And Kadenik is, uh, as he says, pretty casually pitch clear in the lizards. Greed, a greed hit. Uh, it looks like you've got three Saurus and a Crox out and two Skinks. Outrageous. Three, four, five KOs and an injury. That's what I get for fucking greeding. Hey, a KO! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. BZL just rolls rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It seems all right. Um, yeah, it it does sound a little more natural to say. Yeah. Yeah, despite the fact that I would never, ever, ever say Z, ever. <laughs> in, yeah, in any other situation. <laughs> yeah. But again, I don't really care. It's BZL, B whatever, BZ sometimes, Bizzle, Bezel. Whatever people want to say is fine by me. I don't care. Bizzle. Lethal Bizzle. Who's Lethal Bizzle? He was a rapper. Mm -hmm. I learned that from Lupac. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, he had, he had a song that just went, I'm Leaf to the B, pow, pow, pow. And Lupac <laughs> would play that once in a while because, you know, pow in the uh, Blood Bowl sense. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. I don't know why I've heard of it, but there you go. Maybe it was Lupac. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. It was a very long time ago. <laughs> I don't know what uh, kind of career Mr. Bizzle has gone on to <laughs> uh, since then. I haven't really been following him uh, with uh, too much of my... I bet he hasn't made a, an amazing AI um, that's going to take over the world within no, his neither, arms. <laughs> neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a robot buddy with three arms. You just have to trust me on that. But he's not taking the world over. As far as I know. Yeah, as far as you know. He's not going to announce it, is he? Come on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what he's planning behind my back, I can't tell you. Yeah. Nobody, nobody thought Skynet was going to take over the world either, but it did. Hmm. It wouldn't have been much of a movie if it hadn't. Yeah. Things still going okay for Vulpes and Kelta on his offense against uh, Lee and Gary. And he's got the ball pretty safe, but uh, hasn't really made any progress forward. He's still in his own half. Got the ball on a catcher though, and they're human catchers. They're a movement, so he doesn't have to get too much farther forward. Uh, and it's turn five there. Mm. Dodgy is stunned. Failed a dice roll. Glorious. We like it when they fail dice rolls. Uh... And still only one touchdown this round. That's yours. Glorious. Let's go pop in and Mon Hilda and see if uh, the bench has fallen on them yet. <laughs> Mon Hilda! <laughs> I am stuck under the bench! <laughs> oh, I love it. Right, I'm gonna fucking chain me dancer for a block here. Alright. Yeah, turn seven and. Uh... Uh, well. Yeah, that squirrel dude's starting to get enough people back that J5 may not score, but uh, a squirrel dude's certainly not scoring on his own offense. It's going to be disappointing. Mm. He's stunned. So you only need somebody who can go and get him next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right here. And swarm. Swarm the ball a little bit. Power Apo still has their Apo. <laughs> power Apo, turn... not Power Apoing. <laughs> It's turn six there, Nightwind with Dark Elf uh, starting to get forward. He's just about at the halfway line. Mm. 
Uh, he is down by one of his Wrestle Witch Elves. So 11 against 10. The Get Banged On guy was Fashbinder, not, uh, not, not, not Lupak. And Fash really just invented everything, so. He did, yes. <laughs> yeah, you can just assume that if something has been invented, it was his work. <laughs> EAB occasionally cybersexes Skuro. Is EAB female? Uh, EAB is just a robot that Skuromatsu sends offensive texts to. Mm. I don't look at the logs, though, so I mean, I give it some privacy. <laughs> His troll has been shit. <laughs> it was stupid for the first two turns, and now it's both down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that goblin had guarded and didn't realize I based him so he couldn't get a 2D, and then <laughs> he was guard so he could get a 2D. <laughs> but he, uh, he failed, so he didn't. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, Nightwind looks like he's managed to turn the corner and will probably be able to get through to score. Uh, Oriolens is uh, always dangerous player, of course, may be able to find something on defense to make it difficult, but uh, you'd expect the Dark Elves to be able to score from here. Oh god, that was glorious, that BZL. BZL. There was a... There was a... Uh, something Get happened. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> something Fuck happened, off. and it was it was very exciting. <laughs> Dana can basically remove the entire uh, Lizardman team. One source left, and uh, the foul is only a stun. You need that assist, don't you? Good afternoon, Mr. Necropotence. Hey, got him eventually. We're about halfway through day one here of the NAF tournament that we're running. Uh, we've got a 10-man Swiss. Uh, Jim's in the loser's bracket. He got beat by poor Mr. Gdanik, uh in the first round. Uh, Gdanik looks like he's well on his way to uh, winning again. Uh, there are several other games going on that are not quite as decisive. First half pitch clear. <laughs> Pretty good against Soros. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Yeah, it's turn seven. There, uh, it's eleven against zero. That is nuts. Right. Uh, that uh, this is BZL. Uh, we'd like to keep doing more of these. Uh, you know, ten people, not bad turnout for a first uh, trial run. Uh, eventually, it'd be nice to be able to get them NAF rated as well. Yes. Uh, there's some questions about that that I'm not sure how easy it is to do. But uh, if we can, we will. Yeah, 100%. And, yeah. Right. Should be, should be doable, Mike Davies yeah. is on board, it seems. He's the uh, man in charge of the NAF. He was. Uh, he led... was the president of the NAF when we started. Oh, is he, is not, he not in charge anymore? He's not in oh. charge, no. I think he's still high up. But I think mm -hmm. he's not in charge anymore. But I'm, I'm sure he'll be enough for us, you know, as a contact. I don't know who... Who is the who is the absolute boss now? But I'm sure he'll be enough for us to you know as a liaison. <laughs> yeah, uh, the way they set it up, they have like regional coordinators and such. But uh, I have no idea what they would use for an online region. And they probably don't even have anything set up for that. Ah, they have Fumble though, so they have um, yeah. they'll have somebody in charge of Fumble, won't they? Or, or, yeah, possibly or something. Something they'll have for Fumble, so they can do the same with us for sure. Uh, Aurelius has, has managed to sack the ball. It's on the ground. Nightwind's got two turns left to pick it up and uh, has all sorts of elves nearby. Uh, so we should have good chances to do that. Oh, glorious. Thank you very much, Skuro. Well, maybe we can do that, eh? All right, J5 did manage to score on your offense, squirrel dude. Yeah, uh, fair 
TV games well, are not totally fair, because obviously with Unde- Underworld being a bit shit, he has extra TV, so it's like, it is hmm. fair games, isn't it? Pretty much. Like, obviously there's racial matchups and everything, but right. essentially... And if you choose Underworld, there aren't going to be a lot of fair games. Yeah, yeah, but it's essentially fair, though. <laughs> yeah. It, un- as unless fair you ban as people, <laughs> Unless you ban people from using Underworld and, <laughs> and stuff. Oh, uh, we strongly discourage people from playing stunties. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Underworld, not well. You know, half their team is stunty, but uh, they're not really considered in the tier three group with ogres and halflings and goblins. Yeah, yeah. Those uh, are crap. There is one other game in the tournament being streamed right now. It's uh, Gadanic and Egyptian, uh, or Egypt Gunslinger, is streaming his game. Uh, uh, there's uh, that's the game where one side's already been pitch cleared, so yeah. uh, not an awful lot going on there. But there's the link for you if you want to watch that one. What's left of what's left of <laughs> Egyptian gunslingers team? Right, and uh, that's the link to uh, the list of tiers and uh, their TV and skill allowances that we're using. I'm keeping a close eye on the Oriolensis Nightwing game that's in turn seven, and I just want to see if Nightwing can recover this or if they're going to go to halftime scoreless. Mm. All right, Nightwing's got the ball back, but uh, only has one reasonable scoring threat, so he may. Well. He's got some people he can still move. But it's going to be a tricky little position for him. Uh, Jim is playing against Cosmodon. Yeah. With Underworld. Underworld, yeah. Uh, Cosmodon lost his first game against Egypt Gunslinger, the uh, Lizard team. I, I got to watch. Game. Yeah, I got to watch parts of that game, and it's it's hard to judge really from like half a turn here or there. But it seemed like he played fine and was just a little unlucky uh, with his underworld, and also of course unlucky that he chose to play underworld. But uh, <laughs> he did, and he's giving it a go. Yep. Yeah, and like obviously they're not always going to be fair because you know under uh, Amazons are a fine competitive choice, aren't they? And so are dwarves, and that mm. obviously isn't that fair a game. But you know at least they at least their decisions you've made haven't they? At the end of the day, it's right. not you're not you're not down five hundred TV because of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Negro are good. They're just not quite as good as you expect them to be. So they they're like middle of the room. Uh, nap stats. Yeah. They win just above 50%. Yeah, they're one of the better tier 2 teams, aren't they? Oh, they're easily the best tier 2 team. Yeah. Oh, glorious. Jimmy, 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 six months already. Time sure does fly, huh, Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. She actually says Jimmy as well. That's incredible, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Six months, that is. That is uh, one and a half beaver pregnancies. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Um, thanks for sharing that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm too new for you. Mm-hmm. Glorious. Thank you very, very much for staying fantastic. <laughs> Orelensis has got a leap, one die pow on the ball carrier, but it was a dump off that worked yep. <laughs> into two tackle zones. <laughs> oh, Yuri Styles. Oh, there you, here we go. Wife says to husband, You only ever want sex when you're drunk. Husband says, That's not true. Sometimes I want a kebab. <laughs> <laughs> That's <was> brilliant. <laughs> Cheetah, 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 that was brilliant, wasn't it? 
Fucking hell. Right, I definitely want to score on turn 8, not turn 7. So, got to do something. I'm thinking over here. Uh, humans are middle of the road tier 2. Uh, and Bretts have been one of the best teams of all since they've been in introduced, and they're in tier 1. Maybe a handoff and then pass. Let's hand off. Okay, so Nightwind's got the ball for his turn eight. Uh, he's got some dice to roll. Not going to be easy to score. Uh, the thing that makes Sparts good, I think, uh, just most of all, is that at low TV, they start with. Four block and four wrestle, so that's just awesome. Yeah. Uh, blitzers are pretty effective. Uh, you can give three, even four of them dodge, and you've got a couple of blodgers uh, with move seven. Yep, they're pretty good. Mm hmm. And they got a lot better by getting. Edge access, didn't they? Okay, having lodge is, is way better than just having block and wrestle. <laughs> right. I don't even know what the the correct or popular-ish builds are for Brett's and Nav, but I imagine at least three of your blitzers would start with dodge. Yeah. And maybe a mighty blow uh, blocker just because they can take mighty blow. Yeah. And then a couple of guard for the same reason. Yeah, I mean, you, you'd want four guard as well, wouldn't you? So there's there's a lot of things you'd want. Right, and that's the thing with tier one. You'd only, you only get six skills. So imagine if you put Bretts in tier two, and suddenly you've got blodgers everywhere and four card. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they were just uh, general in strength, right? Or they had passing maybe too, but who cares about that? All right, Nightwind has made some dodges and snake to GFI and will not score in the first half. Brett's originally just had didn't even have strength; he just had general, only general. On the Blitzers? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Who yeah. designed that stupid team? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say that knowing the answer. <laughs> yes, I knew you did. <laughs> no. Yeah. They were just, they were just general. Well, not just general, general and passing. It was really shit. Yeah, general. They weren't only general. They were, they were, they were general and passing. Yeah, to to be to be correct, they were yeah. general and passing, but only general still... in terms of they they weren't. I said that because they weren't. They didn't have strength or agility. They were they were just general. In, right. In terms and they still have passing too, correct? They because leader is a common first pick on a blitzer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they still have the they still have the leader. So um, uh, they still have passing. So it was, you know, I, I deliberately didn't mention it on purpose, but yeah, for the sake of completeness, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Volpe's and Kalta and Lee and Gary are about to go to halftime. Uh, Volpe's scored on his drive, and it's going to be 1-0. Mm -hmm. J5's game is probably done by now because he plays very quickly. Yeah. That's why is that only two? Three, four, five, six. Oh, because I can't. I can't do math! <laughs> As Americans would say. Uh, into the second half over uh, with Gdanik's game. Egypt Gunslinger has gotten most of his Saurus back. Uh, he's got four plus the Crocs back from being KO'd. Uh, so uh, another pitch clear seems not. Too likely, but you never know. Yep, you never know. Of course, Kadanik has one nil lead and the ball, uh, and a, still a significant man advantage, so uh, it shouldn't be a problem for him there to coast to a win. Mm. I'm pretty sure uh, some will win fair. <laughs> yeah, I could do Bretts in, in NAF, couldn't I? That's a way for me to play Bretts without tanking my Brett win rate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's a yeah. good idea. EAB um, pays no attention to anything except the CCL. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, mighty blow. I think is worth. Yeah, that that's that is part of mighty blow, isn't it? Is that you um is that you get the SPPs 
uh, get more SPPs from Mighty Blow. So it, it's still good to, to for all your blitzes to be like twice as effective. So it is still good, Mighty Blow. But um, yeah, that is a big part of it, isn't it? Obviously, I'd rather have more two D blocks with guard. Yeah, that's the thing. I think when you've got guard, generally you should take guard more than Mighty Blow. I think. But. Right. Squirrel dude making a valiant effort to try and turn around the one nil deficit against J5. Uh, he's, J5 still has the ball, uh, but uh, it's based, so. Ooh. Ball so is he's based. He's got problems. <laughs> ball is based. Repeat, ball is based. <laughs> it, it is very much based. And it still looks like 11 against 11 in that game. Uh, so they're just starting turn 12. My irrelevant dodge got me a KO that hasn't come back, but never mind. It's always good to do irrelevant dodges like that, isn't it? And take a, take a cheeky KO. Yeah, there's no need for me to track Rebel stuff. Uh, Major Bite does an awful lot of work uh, along similar lines, running the Rebel websites, automating all the games. Uh, if there's anything more you need out of that, you could probably just ask him. As for NAF, there are so few games played at this point that uh, it doesn't seem to be effort. Yeah. Uh, you're allowed to have lower TV, but you're not allowed to take inducements, so there's no reason to, to be lower TV. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we, we don't encourage you to play stunties at all. But if you do, you're allowed... Uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> like eight or, You can have like a normal skill on almost everybody and two or three doubles. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit shit. Yeah. Yeah, monthly, maybe. Uh, we'll try not to have the next one on Mother's Day. Yeah. <laughs> I know a couple of people weren't able to play because, you know, tomorrow is Mother's Day in the UK. I didn't know that until people started complaining about it. No, neither did I. Uh, I won't be very yeah. popular. <laughs> <laughs> I got to find out when it is in America. I know it's in May, so I'm not too worried about it yet. But I do have to call my mom that day, because I'm not a horrible person. Glorious. Glorious K on the troll. Get fucked, troll. Also, it was a glorious apple fell as Mighty Blow guys. So. Glorious KO on the Amazon ball carrier. So Squirrel Dude has excellent chances to uh, get a draw out of this one. Yeah. Yeah, monthly thing would be great, wouldn't it? May 12th, thank you. I'm going to forget that. Because it's not today or tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Yuri Style says it's May 9th, so I don't know who to trust. Yeah. Oof. Normal service is continuing over in the Gdanic versus Egyptian game. Uh, uh, Soros is getting gang fouled every turn, and they keep getting removed. So that one's done. Yeah, probably what we need to do is we probably need to um, need to get obviously Mike Davies more involved and Rebel involved. I mean, Rebel's the main. I mean, you know they're keeping this game alive after three years, aren't they? So yeah, somebody has to do it. Yeah, so we probably should get a, we should probably get Rebel involved somehow, and the other streamers, isn't it? And I assume the uh, the <laughs> the man who thinks he's it won't be involved, but maybe Sage and uh, you know the other the other people, maybe Knorr yeah. even might get involved. Just just doing this regularly will cause it to grow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, what's he called? Lupax Triple Cup. That started off with like you know very few people, didn't it? And then eventually, that, yeah, that became pretty popular. Right, Triple Cup is exactly what I'm thinking. Just once it got to be like Triple Cup number ten or whatever, it had been. It just had so much momentum that he had 32, 64 people playing in a weekend tournament. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. I'm gonna go for the win. Even though there's a KO'd, uh, KO'd uh, thing. Well, I'm going for the win anyway, but I'm going to go for the, uh, you know, win by as much as you can. Inarian style. Yeah. You <laughs> might as well at this point. Yeah. Uh, 
Velpi Zinkalta has just power up out alignment. Yeah, NAF rankings is another thing that uh, would certainly help draw people in. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Now, if you have a NAF tournament uh, and it's ranked, does everybody who plays in it have to be a member? They don't have to be, no, because... Uh... Or maybe they get it in for free because there's there's been ones on uh, Fumble, you know. There's been NAF tournaments on Fumble, NAF ranked tournaments yeah, but on Fumble. I don't know if everybody who played in them was also a NAF member or not. They, they definitely weren't because I played in them. <laughs> oh, okay. When my membership had run out, so you definitely don't have to be. Yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to know how that works too, just out of curiosity. Yeah. Because I mean, if you tell people well, you have to be a member of this group and you have to, I don't know if there's dues or an annual fee uh, to join, but uh, I think that would put off some people. Yeah, the NAF tournaments and tabletop, you get a discount for being a NAF member exactly. Yeah, anyone can play. So I think oh. you do just. Uh... Well, they just don't count the game at all for the standings or for the rankings? Yeah. Yeah, then that may be FT, just maybe, but it's it's only affects your online, so it's not going to really, it shouldn't scare people off, should it? You don't need to care about your online ranking at all. You know, it's not like it's going to, uh, you know, it's not like KFL is going to play a random game against Skuro and then lose and then not be number one ranked anymore, because uh, it will Well, he, he probably would. <laughs> you know what I mean? It would only affect his online ranking, so... Oh, they have, they track rankings online separately? Yes, they do, yes. Oh. Oh, in that case, who cares? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, I mean, he would lose. When he lost to Yuskura, I'm saying he wouldn't lose his number one ranking because he would. it would just affect his online ranking. Yeah, I didn't realize it was a separate online ranking. That changes things quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. It seems not so meaningful, though. I mean, if it's the only place you can get online ranking is on Fumble or... <laughs> And now, now on BB2, if we can do that, uh, most people aren't going to play enough games to have any kind of a meaningful ranking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he lost number one in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I was at work and everything, wasn't he? It was fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Nothing exciting to report, and uh, Volpe's in Lean Gary. It's turn 10. Amazons have the ball and have to work some magic to score uh, at the end of the half. That was a very deep kick. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to push for an early score and a turnover. You may have to settle for a draw if you can get that. Any team that I mean, that Woodies are the only team with Armour 7 that I can stand to play because <laughs> they're just so fucking good. <laughs> Kadanik is now 2 0 up against Egypt uh, and has probably killed about 52 Saurus so far this game. Uh, still scoreless in uh, the Elf off with Nightwind and Oriolensis. That's very early in the second half. This was good defense and by. Uh... My Cosmodon here. And Von Hilda is still not stuck under the bar. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, though, Squirrel Dude has the ball. Von Hilda. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's down to eight Amazons in the pitch. Against 11 undead. Uh, looks like this game will turn into a draw. What happens in a draw is just a draw. Yeah. Uh, the way the standings work, it's uh, it's Swiss. It's like two points for a win and one for a draw. And then a series of uh, tiebreakers if necessary that I don't, I haven't bothered to remember. <laughs> <laughs> touchdown difference is probably pretty high on the list. Yeah, touchdown difference, then cast difference, then touchdowns scored. In fact, it and might cyanide. be touchdown difference, then touchdown scored, actually. 
Hmm. And it's cyanide, so they've probably got at least one of those three things wrong. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. I mean, because the the blood, the German blood bowl uh, DBBL qualifier that I that I won um, <laughs> that had touchdown difference and touchdowns four, and I don't think the t- the cas difference mattered. So. First time you pitch cleared lizards. Wow. Yeah, sometimes you get a game like that where you just score early and then you score a second time and you just kind of coast. But when you play three games in a row and you know they're all important tournament games, uh, it's nice to be able to have a relaxing sort of experience in the middle. Yeah. Uh, kind of reserve your energy, so mm-hmm. to speak, because there is a third game coming up as soon as uh, these are done. Yep. We're going to turn 15 over in the J5 Squirrel Dude game, so they'll be the first ones done. (laughs) Well, you know, you want to absolutely destroy your opponent, and the relaxing part is you don't have to put too much of your mind into the game, uh, so you're not exhausted for the next one. Yeah. Yeah, I got, you know... you can argue we made a bit of a mistake early on, couldn't you, giving us the chance, but then I roll the dice to get the chance. And then uh, after that, he was a bit unlucky with the uh, troll and stuff, wasn't he? I mean, I think he had worse dice overall here, um, which made things a lot easier. But um, game One game is over. Oh. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Um, let me go back and try and figure that out. Egypt. Is oh, Egypt is and Kadenic is over. Yeah, I guess he just passed turns. <laughs> I mean, because he was yeah, probably good. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Once you're two nil down uh, and you have no players, <laughs> there's not much you can do. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Still scoreless. Oriolensis and Nightwind. Oriolensis has the ball on turn 11. And Nightwind is out of rerolls now for the half, having just rolled a 1 in 81 on his blitz. And he's fouling. That's a stunned war dancer. Nightwind is basing up a whole lot of elves. So, again, going for win. And you can't really blame them. Because, you know, why shouldn't everybody go for a win? Uh, Orgulensis and Nightwind are indeed playing Vulpies. They're, uh, like, turn 11 or 12 now. So I just closed that one out. Uh, Nightwind uh, snaked a GFI that would have uh, probably scored in the first half. It was actually, he had two GFIs to score and he snaked the first one. Uh, Jim's got this one uh, pretty well under control. And J5 and Squirrel Dude looks headed to a draw. And Vulpes is 1-0 up against uh, Lean Gary. Oh, I was muted there. I didn't realize I was muted, but uh, it would take it would take an epic throw for me to not win here, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, I, you may not be able to, <laughs> to not win from here, even if you tried. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, he'd have to throw a goblin, wouldn't he? Throw a goblin here, score, and then he'd he'd have to throw a goblin every turn, essentially, and score. So the Amazons are in some trouble here. Lean Gary has got the ball in the corner of his own end zone, and he's based. So he's Mm -hmm. throwing a Hail Mary pass. 
Oh, I forgot. He's got he's got the Hail Mary pass thrower, and he has just done it. <laughs> Glorious. Yeah. So uh, the humans don't really have anybody who can get at the ball. So uh, you know he's in great shape to pick it up and score next turn. Hail Mary pass doing a thing. Oh man, look at that! I fucking I, I even give him the tree, and then he really stupids again. That's the third really what stupid. That? Unbelievable. What that? Oh, he used the reroll on the bench. stupid. Gets the power. Von Hilda! It's fucking great, isn't it? Von Hilda. Ouch. Yeah. He bit his cock there. Oh. <laughs> this sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> That's how big the tree is. That's how big the tree is. The fucking <laughs> troll just bit his cock. Um, uh, this is Rez, yes. <laughs> yes, it is Rez. Uh, not anymore, Pink Sonic fan. Not anymore. It's uh, it's too too difficult. Uh, these are the rules by which uh, teams are built. Thank you. B BZL. Yeah, we've got uh, 10 teams playing. Seven of them are tier 1, 12, 20 teams. Uh, and three of them are tier 2, 12, 70 teams. Mm -hmm. uh, Squirrel Dude and J5 is just about to end here. Uh, it's turn 16, uh, and Squirrel Dude is just walked in. And it's a 1 1 draw. Ooh. Good afternoon, Mr. Elb Meme. BZL. Yeah. Um. Oh. I'm too far away with this this little bastard. That's the first draw of the tournament. Orioleans is still as the ball comfortably safely against Nightwind. Uh, he managed to get out of the pressure last turn. It's probably all going to come again, but uh, yeah, you got to fend that off for a few more turns. Uh, it's Nightwind's turn 12 and uh, scoreless still. Orioleans is going to store, going to stall as long as he can and uh, try and win one nil. Yeah, that's what happens when you play Amazons, especially when you're uh, using the J5 Amazon build of, like, every single player gets Blodge. You just punch him and you punch him and nothing happens. <laughs> and then you get six POWs all game and you feel like kicking something. <laughs> yep. Gonna pop into Volpe's and Gulta's current game. Uh, oh, it looks like Hail Mary Pass did not work out as intended because the uh, human catcher has picked up the ball. Uh, he's gonna get some some dice against him. Looks like at least a three dice blitz. Uh, no pow. Oh, and he pushed him the wrong way. Oh no, I guess he didn't. He's gotta block this way. So he's got the ball on a blodger, but uh, still another block coming up to survive. We're going to see a pass here from this uh, Skaven thrower, but will he, will he do uh, animosity? That'd be good, wouldn't it? All right, Lee and Gary has got the ball loose, but it costs him a reroll. Uh, and now he's got a, a one and nine into a three plus pickup to score. He can even stall if he wants. And it looks like he's going to. Robert handoff score.
Nope, changed his mind. It's 1-1. One, one. Uh, Volpe's and Kulta is going to be on offense with four turns to play to go for a win against Lingari. Elves are just disgusting, aren't they? <laughs> when you just yeah, do well, things as elves, it's like... When everything works, then yes. Yeah, if you just roll some dice as elves, they're just fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good when you're doing it, though. Oh, it does, yeah. I just roll some dice here, and then they work, and you're like, God, this is disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, get it going. I, try, I went for the 4 now. I guess I should move this guy back as well. well. Nightwind is giving it his best shot, basing everybody, but uh, it's backfired a bit. He's got three players KO'd now for the Dark Elves. Mm -hmm. uh, one Wood Elf Lyman is missing for Oriel Lances, so he's two men up, and Vol still looks pretty safe. But uh, the way he's defending, they're going to be at least Red Dice shenanigans next turn. It's turn 13 and the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Burp, burp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. The thing's there. The problem is getting games uh, 4 5 one five, and because obviously people uh, there's not so many people playing it, or more accurately, nearly nobody. <laughs> um, so we're probably yeah. going to have to organise a game via Discord, uh, either mine or the NAF Discord, so it's not so easy to get them. You know, hopefully what we can do is we can... Um, I'll start doing it at least one day a week where I play NAF and uh, then obviously the people in the chat can say when they're spinning and I you can obviously see when I'm spinning and then uh, you might be able to get yeah. a few more games that way. And anybody who wants to play is uh, welcome to just show up and play because uh, even when Jim's streaming to 150 people it can be hard to get even one to play. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Which, to be fair, you know, it's during the day, a lot of people are watching you from work. Yeah. Yeah, that is fair. Alright, humans only have eight players for their drive. Two, four, seven, eight, and the Amazons will have ten. Uh, this is Vulpes and Culta versus Lean Gary. Uh, you get no SPP for games. Yeah. So you, you start at 1220 and you're always at 1220. Your players don't die either. They're never now injured. Time for a word from our always sponsors. Good. <laughs> Blood Bowl coaches, have you ever thought that elves pick up the ball too easily? They find it too easy to dodge in, grab the ball and pass it. Try new itchies ball oil. <laughs> Keeps your balls soft and supple. <laughs> While also keeping them lubed up, sir, elves will fumble them. <laughs> Thank you very much, John. <laughs> Thank you very much, yes. Lovely, lovely balls. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, the Amazon's got a perfect defense, so things are going to be a little tricky for uh, Vulpes and Kulta. It's a game that could go either way. Well, this is looking like a 3-1 victory rather than a 4-0, but never mind. I, at least I tried. You're screwing up your tie breaks. I did, yes. I, this could have been a 3-0 easily, couldn't it? But what it? if my problem is too oily of balls? <laughs> God. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> oh, we can drop the GG. Yeah, I probably should have made that. 3-0 rather than 3-1 or maybe try for the 4-0 I was maybe I shouldn't have tried for the 4-0 but you've got a chance of a 4-1 still you're telling me there's a chance Oriel Lens is still hanging on to the ball he's just had an, one of his catchers KO'd into a power apple wow well, followed up by a one dice skull Again, it's it's now turn fourteen. There, I mean, what else? You have to apo a ko, and basically nothing else. 
So Chuckles the Catcher will be up and healthy in another turn or so. Mm. He doesn't have any guard, so I'm better off having a lineman here. Yeah, that is Jim playing uh, one of the tournament games against Cosmodon. Uh, there are f ten people playing, and it's a three-round Swiss. Uh, this is coming up to the end of round two. Uh, there are two other games going on, uh, and two have already finished. Uh, correct passivism. Uh, no inducements at all allowed. Uh, usually you get some inducements in NAF tournaments, but Cyanide client makes it so difficult to in that case to we run have it that way. Product that, for you. Uh, we just say don't Dirty's do any inducements. Ball bags. They protect your balls while also keeping them dry. <laughs> Warning: may cause chaffing. <laughs> chaffing. Um. Thank you very much, John. <laughs> Itchy's ball bags. <laughs> chaffing, not chafing, chaffing. Right, um, I just want to push him to here, actually, don't I? Because it's a 2 plus dodge out. So I don't really need to put this guy anywhere. Alright, Oriolensis appears to be in a comfortable position to score and win 1 0. Still a couple turns to survive, but uh, he looks like, uh, from the position, he shouldn't have too much trouble doing that. Glorious. Could push him and push him to there, but then it doesn't do anything, does it? Um. No, you twat! Yeah, this is Jim's normal NAF uh, team. He just took them out of the ladder and popped them into the tournament. It's another thing that Cyanide makes difficult, but... Get fucked, you little you know. cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! Speaking of things that are difficult... <laughs> Looking dead. <laughs> it is fun not having to care about that. Exactly, yes. NAF is more fun, isn't it? Because you can do yeah. the... See, turn 16, optimal play of a res tournament is to go for that one turn, isn't it? That's it. But yeah, it, that would have helped your tie breaks. Yeah, that, that was just definitely the optimal move. If this was uh, not res, then that w maybe wasn't the optimal move to try for it because there was a chance of your catcher dying. So that's it. That, that, that is really why it's only ever optimal plays in, in res on turn 16, isn't it? Yeah, and eight, the game's so wrapped up anyway. You're up three to one. There's no need to go for four. Yeah. Well, GG. That was a good one, wasn't it? That was good. That was good. Good that you got a tuddy at the end of the day anyway. Probably deserved it for his bit of shit dice in the first half, I think. But I, I mean, once I got the KO on the troll, I probably really should have just stalled out the three nil. But uh, I wanted to try and make it interesting and go for a go for a four nil or a five nil, you know, just because it was just because I was feeling happy. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no need to foul as well, is there? In turn sixteen, because the, it's there's no, it doesn't achieve anything. Um, in fact, you, you might as well just skip your turn sixteen altogether, like not make any blocks either, because it doesn't achieve anything. Right, what game is the least played? Uh, probably about the same. Right, let's let's see. Uh, you might go into Balpies and Kalta and uh, Lean Gary. Although it looks like, yeah, uh, Volpes has uh, managed to get the ball on a catcher and has potatoed the puck away. <laughs> so it's going to take uh, some dice, but... Uh... Well, I should end the YouTube video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.